A few days ago, I covered the recent mass denial of service attack that is currently happening on the Tor network and causing most, if not all, of the V3 onion addresses to go down for hours at a time, sometimes up to an entire day. Uh, now, there are some solutions that are available that certain hidden services have already started to implement. Uh, for example, V2 addresses, they don't appear to be affected by the DDoS, uh, just the more secure V3 ones are affected. And certain sites like Nanochan have created V2 mirrors of their site so that people can go there and use that. Whenever the V3 goes down, uh, some of the online marketplaces have also followed suit, like Dark Market and White House Market. But since these are actually stores that sell potentially illegal goods, like these are basically like the Silk Road in a way, I would imagine that their revenue is still hurting a little bit uh, because of this, because some people are just going to refuse to buy stuff from a V2 market and some more paranoid users might even think that this whole V3 DDoS thing is part of some CIA or DEA plot that is trying to hack all of these marketplaces and try to de-anonymize users so that they can arrest the admins of the sites, the vendors, and the users, uh, which you know, it's not that paranoid of an idea because stuff like this has already happened in other markets that had lesser security in the past. Uh, now, luckily, there is an experimental fix that is available for this V3 denial of service. Now, don't confuse this with um, the latest update that is available to Tor, like the latest proper update that you would see uh, in this upper right-hand corner that came out a few days ago. This update is just for a newer build of Tor that's based off of Firefox uh, 78.6.1 instead of uh, 78.6.0. And it also has a later build of Tor that's available for Android that's gonna be 84.1.4. And this also fixes a bug on the newer MacBooks that have those M1 chips. Apparently Tor uh, wasn't very stable on those, so now it should be. You just have to install this version of it. but. The experimental fix, this comes as a patch. So you can't really just download a pre-built binary of it. Uh, you would have to actually download the source code for Tor and then apply a patch to it and then compile it yourself, which means this fix isn't really available to most people. Um, I mean, technically it is available to everyone since Tor is free and open source software, but let's just be real. Most people don't know how to, or they won't feel comfortable with compiling software themselves, especially something like Tor, which is meant to make you as anonymous as possible online. People are probably gonna be afraid that they're gonna mess something up if they try to compile it. So yeah, most people that are using computers don't have the knowledge for how to do this. And even if you do know how to do it, it's probably still going to take a while to compile Tor from source. I imagine that, Compiling it really isn't that much different than compiling Firefox ESR itself, since that's what Tor is based on. And that takes a few hours to do on my machine, even after setting my makeups to use all of my CPU threads, and I have eight of them. Maybe that doesn't sound like a lot, but I think that eight threads is pretty much what the average user has these days. I'm sure a lot of people watching this, especially on laptops, probably have fewer threads than that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this gets released as a binary soon once it's verified to be working good enough because I can't imagine somebody building Tor or really any browser from source on something like a Libre booted uh, ThinkPad. <laughs> that would really be hell. Um, so it's probably going to be released first as an alpha and then maybe as a beta of Tor first uh, before all of the patches are pushed into the main line where it you know shows up here whenever you need to update Tor because obviously we want to make sure that everything is thoroughly working before any updates get pushed out to everyone. Uh, so if we take a look at the release notes, essentially um, what the fix is, is to stop requiring a live consensus for V3 clients and services and allow a reasonably live consensus instead. So. You shouldn't see V3 sites randomly going down as much with this whenever the consensus is uh, getting DDoSed. 
And if you're wondering what V3 and you know consensus and all of this gibberish is about, I would recommend watching my video that I did on the Tor DDoS attack because in most of that video, I was just explaining what the consensus is and what V3 uh, onion addresses are. Or you can just read the documentation that's on Tor's website, which really does do a good job at explaining stuff. Uh, you might wanna use like these links that they have here because like they say right at the top, some of the resources are outdated. They're trying to get everything uh, up to speed in there, but yeah, updated stuff are all of these links that you see in green. And for those of you that don't mind compiling your own software, or if you just have uh, the time or the sheer determination to do it, I'm going to leave a link to the Tarball and the official GitLab of Tor that has all of these patches. Basically, it's just gonna be this site right here because it has all the relevant links uh, here in the body of the page. Uh, it's pretty simple to configure. I mean, it's just like compiling any other software. You just configure, make, and make install. Uh, I'm probably going to also build this myself later on today when I'm running errands outside since I won't need to be on the computer anyway, so I can let uh, my computer do its thing and just use all those cores to build this software. Uh, but yeah, I would really recommend doing this so that we can test it and report any bugs to the Tor devs to fix or even propose fixes for bugs if you're particularly skilled, if you actually know how to go in and fix them. This is the best way that we can get these patches into the mainstream Tor browser so that less technical users can actually use Tor. Now, like I said, the patches exist. They just need to be tested, find any kinks that haven't been found yet. And then eventually, if I had to guess, maybe within the next few weeks, we'll see this be pushed out as an actual Tor update. So there you go, guys. There are fixes coming for the V3 Onion services, and they're already available if you just compile it yourself. And in the meantime, your favorite Onions will likely put up some V2 links for when the V3 links go down. Just be careful on the V2s, you know, practice good OPSEC and wait for the V3 to come back online before you do anything really crazy like purchasing fully automatic recreational assault nukes.